Now to a story you'll see only on 10. A store employee tries to get the upper hand on some shoplifters, but gets two things she never expected. First, she got pepper sprayed by the suspected thieves. Then she got fired from her job at the Bath and Body Works store at Peninsula Town Center. So she called 10 on your side's Andy Fox with hopes of getting some answers tonight. Andy? Yeah, she told us that's what she's been told that she's done. Now, we have tried all day to get some type of a statement from Bath and Body Works here locally and at the corporate level asking the question, is it right under the circumstances to treat what is otherwise a loyal employee with the opinion and impression that she's going to get fired? She grabbed a can, some mace, came back and said, I'm going to mace you, expletive. This employee, who doesn't want to be identified, was working at Bath & Body Works, followed these two suspected shoplifters out of the store, got pepper sprayed, and then called police. I couldn't see them. I didn't know if they were still standing there and going to hurt me worse. I could not see anything. My eyes swelled shut. The employee fell to the ground with new concerns. What if? I had no idea if I was going to lose my vision permanently or if it would come back. I had no idea. This is a picture she gave us of a dye put in the eye determining if there was any damage. She says there are cornea lacerations in both eyes. But that wasn't her only problem. She claims she's now lost her job because... I was told you're not allowed to go outside and you, you weren't supposed to call the police. And what'd you say to them? I didn't know that. I, I didn't understand. She thinks that decision to terminate made by corporate and during our interview got a call of concern from a manager. Just wanted to see how you were doing. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. Bye. Like I said, my managers are great. It's when, above uh, them. When they, you just got that call from a manager. They're great. Why did you call us? Because I wanted to find them before they hurt someone else. If they did this to somebody with asthma or somebody who was elderly, they could have killed them. Here's how she sums up her life right now. They get away with everything, and I'm the one that ends up losing my job and getting pepper sprayed. Now, I spoke with her. I spoke with her, and you get the feeling she wants the company to reconsider to give her the job back, especially after, during the interview, she gets a call from a manager asking how she's doing. She says it's not right that the final act of her working here is standing up for the company. In Hampton, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.